You just want to see your first shark? Okay. Good group. Um, just had an invite out to our local spot from uh, a couple of brothers who live just down the road from me. So these guys are pretty new to spearing, but um, yeah, we'll go out and have a look. So it's the heat of summer, the shark's probably going to be on, but um, that might be a good in intro for them. So yeah, I'll put the camera away till we get out there and see what we see. These glasses are the business, man. Give it a go for that. Do we pass you that gun when you get in? Yeah, it's good. So, yep, firstly, I jump in the water with the uh, pole spear with the goal of taking a kingfish with it. Now, this is a rife uh, 10 foot carbon pole spear. And I kind of wish I had an 8 foot, um, so it's a bit cumbersome, but it smashes the fish. So yeah, come down onto this reef lip and there's already some kingfish moving in to have a look at me. So basically just trying not to be too keen, uh, a little bit of a grunt, and um, try to get a crack at the closest fish. <laughs> so, yep, slam one and miss the brain which is unfortunate but um, the slip tips toggled the whole way through so that's good and this is a slip tip on a ring so it doesn't break away so I have to uh, fight the fish by using a float line that's attached to the rubber um, so I have to make sure the rubber is not too perished or anything like that that's the, the dodgy thing there but yeah fish fought pretty hard for its size but uh, managed to land it and um, no sharks getting involved which is uh, pretty surprising actually on this spot on the pole spear. I just have to figure out. Um, maybe take it, but just trying to damage that pole because it'll come up. Grab it right under the under the gills. Yeah. Grab it hard. Grab it hard. How, how does the pole spear go? It smashes them. That should be good to bring in, bro. Topped in with the right carbon pole spear first spot here and uh, good eating kingy with it um, yep we'll just get back in and have a look shortly I've uh, been seeing a few little snappers down there too so I have to swap out for the gun in a second see five minutes in the water so we'll get back to it I'll throw some kinder and see if it brings something in so yep I moved up to the pressure point where the current's coming on the front of the reef there and through the kinder and the kind of sinking did exactly what I thought it was going to do uh, which is bring in a bit of bait and stimulate a bit of um, feeding and some smell and stuff and um, that brought in some curious kingies um, it's a pretty good technique to use especially when there's hardly any current and things are a little bit slow um, there's quite a few good fish here sort of one fatty there probably around 15 kg and um, when there's not a lot of current like this quite often the fish are sort of um, they don't come up shallow they, they sort of hang out down on those those reef edges and um, yeah, the boys actually didn't follow me up here. I thought they were going to, so um, they didn't get a chance to get a shot on one. Big school of kingies here. Yo! As I said, I was going to throw the kinders. There's heaps of fish, man. Um, seen a couple of good schools of kingies. Just over one there at the front. Um, the boys have some old pilchards and squid in there, which is gross. Before we can get our kingie in there, so. Um, it's obviously been in there overnight, so I'm just gonna chum those up on the front there and see if uh, the school of kingies is gonna come in for them as well. And uh, hopefully no sharks. So yep, these boys had obviously been fishing the day before and uh, left some pilchards in the bin overnight, which is a bit rough, but um, I got a bit of use out of them. Um, instead of just chucking them off the back of the boat, I thought I'd throw them down over the um, current ledge and uh, see if anything moved in. Uh, a bronzy moved in of course, uh, which actually wasn't too bad because I thought it would be a good intro um, with the cleaner water um, to get these boys uh, their first shark experience. And uh, a few snapper moved in too, uh, got a shot on this one here, quite a nice fish, but unfortunately the um, flopper didn't open, it was a new shaft and um, just the flopper adjustment wasn't right so um, that was a real pain in the ass because uh, it just pulled through. 
Um, I didn't want to fight it too hard. I let it lie down on the reef because it was a little bit low and I didn't want it to tear. But um, yeah, it just ended up pulling straight back through. I lost Scott and Ian Sapper, probably like five or six kilo. Yeah, I shot it a bit low and then it just got off. There's a bronzy there. So yeah, just did one more drop here in the hopes of finding some women and children. And there was about a four kilo fish hanging out over near that bronzy, but uh, wasn't keen to hang around. And um, made my way down onto the plateau just to get a bit of a look. It was quite a bit hazier down there, so a little bit hard to see out further. Um, and then yeah, on the ascent here, the shark got a wee bit bolshy. Uh, just a wee bit territorial on it. Do you just want to see your first shark? Hey. If you want to see your first shark, come have a look. So, yep, first ever shark encounter for these boys on film. And this shark actually almost hits another shark and sort of boosts off there, which is quite interesting. Um, the second shark comes up and, yeah, quite sort of prickly behavior, um, darting back and forward and then coming up. So when sharks are acting like this, I wouldn't recommend shooting kingfish around them. Um, they'll just demolish them. And, um, yeah, they can get quite angry towards divers too, charge and, and bend spears and stuff. Oh, there's your intro to shark. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit, a little bit like prickly, eh? Like they're kind of rocked up a little bit. Oh, are they? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's mean to get your first, you know? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, get it out of the way. Because yeah, wow. they and they come up real close. To, I think it's on film too. Round two. So yep, move on to our second spot, and um, this spot's a wee bit deeper than the last one. And as soon as I get down here out to the current. Um, massive massive school of kingfish um, sort of borderline fish probably at a guess all around that sort of 80 centimeter mark but um, yeah epic huge school and you can see through the school here I've only got the pole spit there's a huge snapper out there really big hump headed fish hanging out with those silver drummer there's actually two big fish with humps on their heads and uh, yeah no chance for me there but um, just a um, bit of a scenic dive having a good look through this school and um, seeing if there's anything worth shooting with the pole um, if I was going to take a second fish, I wanted a, a bit of a nicer one. There's only a few, they're like all borderline. There was some big snapper at the back of that school though. Yeah, big humps on their heads and shit up in mid water. So yeah, I'll just take another dive here and um, back out onto that sort of reef edge where it's dropping away there. It's actually quite a, a big drop there off the front of that reef. Um, the kingfish are all still hanging out there, just milling back and forward. Uh, no more signs of those snapper, and um, yeah, but still a pretty cool sight. So yeah, went back to the boat and swapped over for the spear gun, and um, I wanted to do a bit of sneaky diving, uh, looking for these snapper again, and uh, come back down into this groove here, and a school of kingies come through, a smaller school, but they're all way bigger fish. And um, yeah, I was kind of gutted because I actually wanted to take another one with a pulse spear. And um, these fish were all definite shooters. But um, yeah, that's how it goes. Oh, it's the king. Yeah. Down there. Big school. Some good fish too. How deep are they? So yeah, we moved about 100 meters up the reef onto a spot that looked quite good. Just had a bit more bait and a bit more stuff sort of going on. Um, I'd already broken open four kinner here and let them sink. And uh, now I'm just dropping to see if there's any snap or anything that are going to come in for, for a look over that lip. Um, as you can see here, as I get down to the kelp, pretty typical. Um, school of kingfish comes in for a look at me. And same while not being very threatening, just sort of sitting in the kelp looking around. And um, these are better fish um, as well. They're quite nice fish. And they're just happy to hang out there and have a bit of a look. Um, I had seen the odd flickering of bait, which is generally, if it's all compact, it's a, a shark there. And um, you can actually see that here when you look out the front, you'll see um, a whole bunch of bait fish on quite a small shark there. And uh, he comes in and shows himself here. So, yeah, I'd actually, um, when I turned around, I caught the glimpse of a snapper hanging out over that ledge. And um, we're pretty well set up with the sun behind there, and I was low enough where the snap just didn't see. So, um, yeah, managed to get a shaft in it. And then, yeah, just had to bear in mind, um, keep an eye that that little shark wasn't going to have a crack at it. Oh, 
What's that snapper? What's that? There's one here too. Trying to get that snap. That's a that's a big ass shark that one. That's a good eater. See that snapper came in right where I dropped those kinners. Those skinners all sinking down and then it's like sniffing around in the weed. Yeah, because the sun's behind us there, you didn't can see. And the shark's there, so it's just silly. So it's quite a nice lip that, like, it's real f***ing chilled out. you got a bit of something behind you, so you can just can watch and watch yeah. yeah. yeah, so it. Go down and there's like probably six little snapper that just sort of hang around. And yeah. Just, there. just milling, eh? Yeah. Just make sure you're like real chill before you dive. Yeah. Um, we're filming heaps of schools of guineas coming through. And, uh, just laying off them after I already shot one. The boys can have that. And uh, yeah, just gonna keep diving for another little bit. So I'd already been down on that lip there and this was during the ascent. Um, I actually stopped because there's a nice school of trevally out to the left. And there's a fish there that I definitely would have taken if they moved in while I was down there. But um, yeah, I don't like the idea of doubling back down when you're already on the ascent. Um, I think that's just bad practice. See a big trevally? Ah. There's one big trevally, eh? I just lined up on it. It's just with the shark, there's like a whole school of trevally, but there's like one, yeah, it's quite a nice one. So yeah, this is where things get interesting. Um, one of the last drops of the day, because we're about to leave, and the bro takes his first ever snapper. So yeah, I'm just watching him on the ascent there. And then I see a kingy move in, and then I see another two and one quite nice fish. And because um, we hadn't shot a kingy on that spot, I thought, screw it, I'm going to try get a roadie kingfish and um, just hope I can um, land it and these sharks don't get too involved. Um, pretty delusional of me, <laughs> but um, I gave it a crack anyway. And um, yeah, managed to sort of reach out for this king. He wasn't too keen on me getting close, but I'm um, going to shaft through it. Yo, guard me. Guard me with your stick. Um, yeah, I asked the bro to guard me there. Um, he's pretty new, so um, I should have really um, relied on him for that, but um, at least it's teaching him about it, the etiquette and how we work around the sharks. And um, you can see this bronzer here just absolutely savage, this kingfish. Um, just <laughs> annihilates it um, right the way up to the shaft there. And I made a, quite a bad mistake there by grabbing the Dyneema the way I did. And um, my goal here, I, would, I wanted to land the head. You can see the, the head in that wiggling there. About four sharks had moved in and I realized I have to make sure that all the Dyneema's off me, out of my ankles and everything, because if they come and grab it and I get caught up, um, yeah, those things would just drag you off into the distance. So I just made sure all the line was away. And um, while I was doing that, this um, second shark comes up here and just smashes it. Um, he grabs it and then I make sure all the line's free, let it run, and um, yep, he strips out about 40 odd metres of reel. Just got tagged so hard. Straight on my spear back. Thought I'd show you guys a roadie kingy, but nah. I thought I was going to get the head. Is that your first snap? 32. The Aussies would measure that at 36 because they measured the top fucking. Oh, so they, they <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, hard. Snapper. Yeah, me. Oh, that's sick. I'm surprised to get this spear back, man. I didn't think that was coming back. That kingy's like the consistency of like your fucking leg, you know? Yeah. And they take it in like a second, they'll cut it in half. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're a mean eater, that one. I think, and then, yeah, yeah. to meet you, bro. Nice mm -hmm. you, bro. Thank you, thank you, you very got much. A, um, nice little intro to the um, bronze whalers out there.